basically uh, the apron, just these pieces here, the top, and the legs. Um, now I've got to do a lot of gluing. Slow down and take you through what I'm doing <clears throat> in case that time lapse is too fast. All right, so here's the pieces all out of the clamps. Here's the top. Uh, not looking like much yet. <laughs> you know, they turned out what to be expected, I suppose. Nice and flat. Um, obviously, there's glue on the back side here. No big deal. Like I said, these are going to be cut. And then these are the aprons. Okay, to add some visual interest to this plywood, because otherwise it would be just like um, doing, you know, a regular table with solid legs and, and everything else. I want to put some very heavy chamfers um, on the sides of this. That way the plywood layers will show on the faces and it won't just look like this. Okay, so right after I did um, these guys here, uh, my router took a crap. Okay, in all fairness, you know, it, this is an old route. It's an old Sears Craftsman. It was in a table from before, and you can see I just made a deal here. Now, here's the kicker. That is my jack, or uh, lift, my router lift. It's an old jack, this... Um, it works I mean you can see and dialing it in to precision is good but it's it won't uh, it won't stay on anymore uh, it may if I hit it or something I don't know it shut off before I turned it off to the very end um, after I got the last one done so I got them all done 
I have other routers though that I could throw in there. I also have a couple handheld routers, so I'll be able to finish the project. I'm about to do the joinery for the base. <clears throat> and these, like I said, are my aprons. I'm gonna do a really simple method on this, just um, pocket holes and uh, corner brackets. Two pieces of 10 and a quarter and two pieces of 14. Okay, so we just finished up the blocks, or the brackets, whatever you want to call them. Um, and these, this has been dry assembled. I do that with, when I do this type of joinery, um, with these butt joints and pocket holes, because I will remove this one, glue it back up, and put it back in. Um, that way, the first time I'm doing it, I'm not dealing with glue getting everywhere while I'm trying to align these different sections. The good thing about this being plywood is the fact that it's not going to move. Um, so I don't have to worry about using eight, uh, eight clips or uh, using a, making a clip and using a biscuit joiner to slot it to give it the movement for the top. I don't have to worry about that in this one. Um, I can just drill through the aprons and attach it directly to the top because this is super stable. It's plywood. Thank you. 